live from your local news leader, Karina Rubio, Matthew White, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. You're watching The Morning Show at 9 on WCIA 3. Welcome back to The Morning Show. If you've been with us this morning, we've talked about our first responders, including our firefighters, and they're all about helping others. But this weekend, they're asking for your help at home. That's right. Champaign firefighters are standing with the Muscular Dystrophy Association, or MDA, to fill the boot with donations. And joining us this morning is Adam Sierra with the fire department and a Champaign MDA family. We have Vicki and Allison Cunningham. Thanks so much for being here this morning, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Of course. And Adam, you were just saying that the past two years have been virtual, but we're in person again this year. So why does the fire department do this every year and why is it an important cause to you guys? So it's important for us as firefighters to be out in the community helping, serving, and also interacting with the public. Uh, the MDA is an organization that's committed to uh, helping individuals with muscular dystrophy. We believe in their mission and their values and we're looking forward to supporting them. Well, Adam, we stand behind you here at WCI 3, as well as you, Vicki and Allison. And so, Ms. Vicki, if you don't mind for our viewers at home, maybe walk us through what does muscular dystrophy entail? Muscular dystrophy is a neuromuscular disease, and there's a lot of different diseases in that classification. And my daughter has CMT, which is Charcot-Marie II syndrome, and it affects the muscles in her legs and her ability for balance. And then, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, Allison and Vicki, how this affects your family on a day-to-day -day basis, and just a little bit about your guys' story. Let you go. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, um, she has to have some accommodations for walking long distance. She gets tired easily, so we have to make for sure that we allow enough time in the day to go places, to do anything, and making sure she has accessibility at wherever we go, whether it be at home or in the public. Well, and Allison, if you don't mind me asking, I asked you about school and how excited you are, but talk about how you put those challenges aside and still pursue all of the things that you enjoy in your life. I just basically ignore them, and if I need to, I do what I, my legs tell me to, basically. And then let's talk a little bit about the event details. Adam, can you tell us when and where you guys will be out and about throughout Champaign, and is there a set goal you guys are hoping to raise? Sure thing. So we'll be out both Saturday and Sunday of this weekend and next weekend from 11 to 2 p.m. Uh, we'll be located at Game Day Spirit on East Green Street as well as Harvest Market on South Neal. So we're asking if you're out, you come by and see us, say hi. Um, if you're able to donate, we'd really appreciate that. Um, if you're not out, you can also check our Facebook and our Twitter pages. That's just Champagne Fire Department. Uh, they'll have a link to the donation website. And then also the poster that we have on, uh, on TV right now, if you scan that QR code, that'll take you straight there also. Alrighty, and now one last question for you, Miss Vicki, if you mm -hmm. don't mind. Just to see all of our first responders and our community members who will eventually step up to support, what does it mean to you and Miss Allison just to see the, the community surrounding you this morning? It means a lot because it raises awareness for the disease. Uh, all of the disease, diseases that are in the muscular dystrophy, dystrophy category so it raises awareness for research, the MDA camp for all the kids that can go and attend it. So it just raises awareness and means a lot to us that the community supports, fill the boot, and everything to do with the MDA. All right, well, Adam, Vicki, Ellison, thanks so much for being here this morning. And again, if you're out and about this weekend, make sure you look out for those firefighters and those big boots and fill it to the top. <laughs> now, we will be right back after this quick break. And Seth, speaking of the weekend, is going to tell you what you can expect weather-wise. We can see we're starting off with those clear blue skies.